Okay, day plus 23. Oh my gosh, the past two days have been so busy. You would not even believe. Yesterday, by the end of the day, I was just exhausted. So exhausted. Oh, okay, where do I start? I got discharged. And so after discharge, I got to be disconnected for three whole hours. I was free and I loved it. <laughs> um, I also didn't think to bring a hat and it is cold. And I went outside and it's just like, oh, I was like, mom, I need a hat. <laughs> so I've learned my lesson, but it's so nice to be able to go outside and breathe real air in that hospital air. <laughs> it's just, it's so much nicer. And last night sleeping in a real bed was like the best. So I obviously still have IV things that are hooked up. Um, so one of my things, let's see, I have a mind going right now. Actually, this is my mica fungin. You can see kind of, it's almost done, but usually that's a, that's a ball inside there. And these are so nice because you don't have to actually hang them. They don't take gravity. It's just from pressure. So I can just like hold it wherever, dance with it, you know, whatever I want to do. It's so nice. And this mica fungin is an antifungal. So that helps with funguses. That sounds disgusting. Whatever. I need it. So <laughs> um, so I have one like this and I have an, another one, acyclovir, which is helps with virus viruses and things like that, which comes, it looks exactly the same. And I do that one three times a day. I wake up at seven and do that one. And then I do it again at three and again at 11. And I'm trying to get this one, um, at 3 o'clock, but we started it late yesterday. Home Health had to come to the Ronald, the Ronald McDonald House, call it the Ron, um, and show us kind of how to do everything. I kind of remembered it from three years ago, but they had to kind of refresh our memory on that a little bit, so that took a while. And, um, and this is one of the things. So before meds, I have to, I can actually reach my lumens. These are called lumens, by the way. I can actually reach my lumen, so I'll sit here and I'll alcohol swab, alcohol swab, and then you take a saline flush, flush that, and then you hook up your med for however long it usually runs for about an hour. And then after that, you unhook it and do a saline flush again, and then a vanco heparin flush. Vanco heparin, um, saline is just salt water, you know, and then vanco heparin is it helps the pick line to not clot. And because if you have a clotter, then Obviously, that's very bad. The pick line won't work. Plus, you don't want a clot anywhere in your body. So that's that one. And also, the handy-dandy backpack that I promised. This cute little guy that's navy blue and doesn't match anything I wear is my hydration pack that I have on 24 hours a day right now. I'll open it up so you can check out what's what I got inside this goodie bag. Okay, so inside is my pump on the on on this side. You can see my pump and the battery. You can hear it. Wait for it. Yeah, that's my pump. And then on this side I have my pack. A big fluid pack sitting in here. It's just a big bag of fluid. It's nothing really exciting. So that, <laughs> actually a funny story about that. This backpack I obviously had before. I had it last time. And um, yesterday when, home, when the home health nurses were here, I was kind of setting everything up on my own, you know, and they were just kind of watching, make sure I was doing it right. And everything was going great. I was so, so tired. So I'm like, oh, I need to go to bed, you know. So I wake up at about 4.30 a.m. And my head is freezing, like clammy, like... I was like, what's going on? And then I look and I'm like, why is the top of my shirt soaking wet? Like, am I am I bleeding? Like, what's going on? I wasn't even sure. Turn the light on. Somehow, lucky me, my my backpack tubing came disconnected from my line. The pump didn't stop. It just came unscrewed from my line because I laid on it weird and must not have screwed it on tight enough. 
kept pumping out the fluid that was supposed to be going into my body. Instead went all over my pillow, all over the top of my bed, all over my shirt. My first night with my backpack. Oh, so I had to stop my backpack, clean everything up, and start my back, get it all hooked up again. Alcohol swab everything. Get it all hooked up again. And then I, of course, I went to bed at like 8. So I'd already slept like over 8 hours. So then I sit there and I'm like ready for the day. <laughs> I ended up falling back asleep. Then I woke up again at 7 to do my other meds. And I'll probably do a video of one of them just so you can see like the flushes, um, like the saline flushes, the vanco flushes. Kind of see how that goes. I am now the proud owner of the double pill box. So that's fun. Super colorful. Um, what else do I got going on? I am walking a lot more. Even like to the car is walking a lot more than I did in the hospital. And from one of my meds, I get these really like cute cankles. And um, my ankles swell up really, really nice. And get really hot and red and tight and super uncomfortable. So it's really fun when I have to walk walk long ways or just like stand if I stand for too long I can just feel my ankles just swelling up with fluid so that's another perk of a bone marrow transplant <laughs> um yeah let's see what else did I do today <laughs> oh of course so tonight I've had my backpack going for I have it 24 hours and then I switch it once a day and I have to flush it you know with the saline and everything and so my backpack was running out so I go to flush it that's why this video is so late because we haven't been back for very long I go to flush my line that my backpack had just been running into sure enough flush is fine okay whatever and I get my new hydration pack in there I get everything set up on the pump I get it hooked back up to my pick line and pretty soon it starts beeping oh do you guys want to actually hear the beep? if I kink my line my backpack will beep really really nice. I'll keep talking until it starts beeping, but it should be pretty soon. Um, now all of a sudden my backpack starts beeping. I look at the pump and it, like, usually it's because my arm is in a weird position where I'm kinking it or something like that. Well, it says high pressure. I'm like, high pressure? What the heck does that mean? So I stop it, start it again. No, it says it again. Okay, I do that a couple more times. And then I try to I unhook it and try to flush it. Oh, here we go. I don't know if you can hear it. But that's really fun. And then once I can't get it, it goes away. So, I go to flush it and it's like, it's blocked. My line is blocked. And I'm thinking like, okay, like I have a clot at the end of my line. So, my mom tries to push it through. No, it doesn't work. Then we try the heparin. That doesn't work. I try moving different ways. My line is blocked, and I'm like, did I just get a clot at the end of my line? Like, what's going on? And of course, I'm thinking, like, I don't want to push this saline through and have this clot, because of course, when I picture a clot, I picture, like, a piece of gum stuck to the end of my pick line, which isn't realistic, but that's just what I picture. And I'm thinking, like, don't push this through, because this clot is going to go floating around my body and get lodged somewhere, like, in my heart or my brain or my lungs, or any other important part, which is everywhere. So I'm like freaking out about that and annoyed. Of course, everything is annoying when it doesn't go right. So I'm frustrated because it's like, it just worked. So my mom calls the hot unit that I was just on and they're like, okay, well you need to go to the ER. Okay, whatever. And they're like, okay, well, we'll page the doctor, you know. We have to go to the ER to get this thing called TPA, which is kind of like a clot buster. And I hear ER, and I'm like, who goes to the ER at this time of year? Everyone who is sick and coughing and puking and exploding from every hole in their body. I'm serious, though. Like, you're probably laughing, but I'm dead serious. I'm thinking of all these disgusting germs that I cannot get right now. Because I can't fight off anything. So I'm like, I do not want to go there. So of course I wear my like duckbill mask. And I'm just like, get me in and get me out. Like I don't even want to be in here. So I get in there. I'm like, okay, we have your TPA. 
you know, whatever. And then these have little blue caps on them. You can see that. So they're like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna change the cap just to make sure it's not the cap. All right, change the cap. And then she goes to flush it, and sure enough, it flushes totally fine for her. And I'm just like, well, do I need the TPA still? No, don't need the TPA. Okay, that's good. Just get me out of this germy breeding ground right now. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, ugh, like, don't breathe on me, don't touch me. I'm just like, such a freak, because, ugh, I, it just, the thought of it. So, we leave there, everything's fine. Pick line works, everything's all good now, but yeah, it's been eventful, to, to say the least. So, I am about to eat my supper at 9.30 p.m. and go take a bath in hand sanitizer. So that's the plan. No, I'm not actually going to do that, but that's what I feel like doing. <laughs> that's what I want to do all day long. No, but that, so that's been my days. It's been pretty eventful. And I'm probably forgetting stuff that I was going to talk about, but I don't know. I'm kind of a hot mess right now. <laughs> um, but I'll post more about like the flushes and everything so you can actually see see me try to finagle it like this and get my arm all flexible other than that this video is kind of long so sorry if you're bumming about that but whatever it happens but i'll post tomorrow